Imagine a world where parasites control the minds of their hosts, sending them to their destruction. Imagine a world where parasites are masters of chemical warfare and their camouflage, able to cloak themselves with their hosts' own molecules. Imagine a world where parasites steer the course of evolution, where the majority of species are parasites. Welcome to Earth. I really, 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 really like that one. It sounded, it reminded me of like an intro to a movie and it kind of sounded AI-like. Oh. It didn't sound like, like an AI, but it sounded AI-like. It sounded like, um, it was like the end of the world and the earth was dying. <laughs> but it, I really liked that. Cool. Um, let me think, what can you do? Can you try to sound like a robot? Sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I can. Imagine a world where parasites control the minds of their hosts, sending them to their destruction. Imagine a world where parasites are masters of chemical warfare and camouflage, able to cloak themselves with their hosts' own molecules. Imagine a world where parasites steal the course of evolution, where the majority of species are parasites. Welcome to Earth. You killed it, dude, you killed it. I love that. Uh, it reminds me of, that one reminded me of National like Geogra Geographic, if you're- Oh yeah. <laughs> kind of. No, it was really good. It, it did sound, it gave like an, you had an AI tone. That's like, e reminded me of Elon Musk. And he made like a little, if huh. <laughs> he made a <laughs> little, like, a, like an AI and that would be the voice to it. British would, AIs, man. <laughs> yeah, they're coming, they're taking over. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything you would like to try, actually? Um, like, probably trying to go into, like, the full, like, imagine a world. Oh, yeah, do that. Go for it. Okay. <clears throat> imagine a world where parasites control the minds of their hosts, sending them to their destruction. Imagine a world where parasites are masters of chemical warfare and camouflage, able to cloak themselves with their hosts' own molecules. Imagine a world where parasites steer the course of evolution, where the majority of species are parasites. Welcome to Earth. That was great. <laughs> Round of applause. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> There were Thank helicopters the flying out here, so I went on <laughs> mute, but actually your voice would have matched well with the helicopters flying. <laughs> oh, yeah. Trying to destroy the parasites and all. Yeah. You did really, really. Yeah. Awesome. Very nice, Julia. Yeah. yeah. Which script are you reading from, Anahid? Oh, I wanted to do um, the voiceover woman on the same page, the first one. It says, yeah. I like I was trapped, that one. I'm going to try. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Beep, beep, beep. I felt like I was trapped in one of those terrifying nightmares. The ones where you have to run till your lungs burst, but you can't make your body. But this was no dream. And unlike the nightmare, I wasn't running for my life. I was racing to save something infinite, <laughs> infinitely more precious. My own life meant little to me today. Nice. Okay. A little bit. No, but still, like, I really love the kind of intimacy and, like, the actual, like, it feels like it's coming from you. I want you to do it this time, but I want you to pretend or to do it as though you're talking to a specific person. Like, think of a person that you're telling this to, and it's really important that they understand. Okay. 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 <sighs> beep, beep, beep. I, I felt like I was trapped in one of those dreams, one of those terrifying nightmares. Sorry. That's okay. Let me do it. <clears throat> I, I felt like I was trapped in one of those terrifying nightmares, the ones where you have to run till your lungs burst, but you can't make it your body, but this was no dream. And unlike the nightmare, I wasn't running for my life. 
I was racing to save something infinitely more precious. My own life meant little to me today. Ooh, especially felt that at the end, like I felt a lot of connection to the script itself in that last bit. Mm -hmm. Is there any particular way you would like to try reading it? Ooh, I don't know. Let's see. I feel like it's very um, emotional. Mm -hmm. Maybe, I, I don't know. Okay, I have an idea. Yeah. Can, let's see how to phrase this. So it is a very emotional piece, but mm -hmm. what if you read it as though you were kind of like distant from it? Like, like, in kind of like one of those eerie ways where like someone's describing something really intense, but they're kind of just. Uh, Detached from it? Yes, detached. Yeah. Okay. So I'm okay. I think I get what you mean. Let me give yeah. it a thought. I I felt like I was trapped in one of those terrifying nightmares. The one where you have to run till your lungs burst but you can't make your body. But this one was no dream and unlike the nightmare i wasn't able i wasn't running for my life i was racing to save something infinitely more precious my life m meant little to me today nice yeah that's like a totally different variation i liked it good oh, job thank you thank you, thank you.